Now we're going to cover how to clean the turban or the collet in your NSK Presto handpiece. It's important that you clean this turban about every 40 hours of use. Um, and that's kind of basing it off of an average work week. It doesn't hurt to do it more often, but, but do it for sure about every, every 40 hours. To clean the turban, what you do is take your wrench, I use the, with the big side, put it on the cartridge, and rotate counterclockwise. Then remove the cartridge completely. Notice that when I'm doing this, I'm always keeping a, some kind of bit or the blank bit shank shaft in, in, in place. What that does is it helps protect the collet from being crushed. Next, take the square end of, of your other wrench, put it over, over the bit, and turn to loosen the chuck nut. Then by hand, I'll hold on to the end and spin this. Sometimes when you're doing that, it gets really stiff. But make sure you're holding on to these black fans securely to be able to rotate that, that chuck nut out. Sometimes you might have to put a pair of leather gloves on to get this loosened up. Normally after the first time you don't need to worry about that. So next I'm going to remove the chuck nut. So take that off. It's a small part. So make sure your, your work area is clean. Next I'm going to take out what's called the guide bush, which is a little piece there. Notice on this that it has a, a small shoulder or lip right at the very top. Um, be sure that when you're putting that back together that, that lip goes up and it'll sit down properly. So now I take that guide bush off and next I need, I need to take the, the bit out now. Notice on the back this, this area right here is extended out. You turn that flat on its back like this push straight down and that will release the bit. Next, we'll use the back end of the bit and notice that little circle right there in the middle. I'll take and push the bit into it and by doing that we'll remove the collet. So this is the main part that you need to clean. Sometimes you get some debris or dust, different things down inside here and it makes it so that it won't hold on to the bit securely and if this slips it starts to wear it out. Also, you can get some debris in there so the bit doesn't seat down in there all the way. And again, it can come out when you don't want it to. So what we do is we take some, some kind of metal cleaner or rubbing alcohol, some way to kind of clean up the inside and outside of this, of this collet. You can get a little pipe cleaner as well and put down inside there to help clean that out if you need to. After that's good and clean, make sure that there's no dust or debris inside of this. Don't ever use compressed air to blow inside of the, the cartridge area as that will uh, force debris into the bearings. So now we want to do the reverse process to get, put this back together. Take the chuck, slide it in. Sometimes you, if you want this to be able to slide in just a little bit easier, you can take a very, very light amount of oil and put it on here. Again, you're not lubricating this, you're just kind of um, getting it so it will slide down into the, the, the cartridge a little bit easier. So take that, push it down as far as it'll go, put your blank bit back in, or any kind of bit, and that helps to align all these other small parts. So next I take the guide bush, put that on, and again with the shoulder up, and I slide that down in place. Next take the guide bush, the, the chuck nut, and we'll, we'll put that on. Now be really careful not to cross thread this, so kind of Play with it just a little bit to get that on there securely. And by hand, tighten that as far as it'll go. Get your square-ended wrench and tighten that in place. And just snug tight. Don't really crank down on that. Then we can take our handpiece. Now sometimes, the manufacturer recommends about every 200 hours to, to take a, some rubbing alcohol and dip a Q-tip into it and clean out and swab the inside of this. And then you can take and turn your tool on for a second, and that'll again get out any kind of dust or debris that might build up in here. And we take our and make sure there's a little black O-ring on the inside. Make sure that that is in place as well. If that's if that's crooked, this, is gonna, this will not seat down properly. So now we'll take our our handpiece and our cartridge. Again, be careful not to cross thread it. Tighten it by hand. Then take the wrench, 
and snug tight. And you're ready to carve. Again, so keys to watch out for here. Be sure to clean the cartridge about every, every 40 hours of use. Swab the inside of the handpiece about every 200 hours. And keep that thing good and clean. And, this, and never use compressed air on that cartridge. And the cartridge should last you a, a long time.